This was a homo fanatic witch hunt that was led from people outside of the stakeholders. We're talking about people who, and this is typical of the left these days, this, this, this is a new generation of totalitarianism insofar as the left says a situation, a certain topic is closed, case closed, no more room for dissent. The same thing has happened on abortion. This, uh, you're you're pro-life, there's a war on women. You, you, you question climate change, and you're anti-science, you're a denier. And now we're seeing with the gay movement as well, and the gay lobby there. These are his personal beliefs. But Obama. why do his views have to evolve? I'm sorry, I do not accept that. He can support traditional marriage. That is a legitimate standpoint. In fact, millions of Americans hold that view. I would you want to be a liberal? Live your liberal life. I want to be a conservative. I will not be held in a closet. Um, against gay marriage, not against gays. Right. Against I, I, gay I, I, marriage. There's I, I, a difference. Well, I, There's a difference. Listen, you could be splitting hairs, okay? I, no, I, I, you yeah. not. No, it's yeah. the doer and the deed. Like This goes back to like ancient Greece, for goodness sakes. Uh, no, I, I, I don't think that he should have apologized whatsoever. And let's be honest, the gay marriage movement has won. I don't think worse than sore losers are sore winners, as far as I'm concerned. They're winning the debate. They're winning the so-called war. Just relax. And why do you have to have a witch hunt on every single person who opposes you? What are you afraid of? Well, it